Welcome to another episode of Joyous Prairies where I talk about myself and wonder what the heck I'm doing with my life. Today we are going to talk about the INFJ strength of being soft-spoken and kind-hearted. And I really had to think about how I was going to talk about this because um, <laughs> I don't know, I just, uh, I have an issue with saying or sharing things about myself that are good. And I don't know if this is a trait of my personality or if it's just um, a self-worth issue but I always feel like I'm bragging and that I'm prideful and I don't want to come across as that. So I did have to spend a little time in prayer and just a lot of thinking about, you know, how I was going to talk about this topic. So we're going to start with a definition because I love definitions. Um, I hope the sun isn't going to be an issue. It's, it's kind of moved up here. <clears throat> there, that's a little better. Up here in the North woods, uh, the sun, uh, gets lower in the sky as we get closer to winter and this may be one of the last times I can film outside without freezing because the weather is definitely getting colder as you can see I have a jacket on today um, okay so let's start with the definition so the definition from the Oxford Dic dictionary of soft-spoken is speaking or said with a gentle quiet voice and I used to think, um, prior to looking it up, that soft-spoken meant that you don't talk very much or that you're kind of shy. Um, but this is just saying that you have a gentle, quiet voice. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's interesting. We live in a very loud world. There is a lot of noise all the time. If you live, you know, in the city or you are with people, there is a lot of loud voices, a lot of loud sounds, lots of media and that is definitely overwhelming. We went to a wedding over the weekend and um, it was a family wedding and they had, it was an outdoor wedding and they had a large tent for, you know, the reception part, the meal and the gathering after the ceremony. And <clears throat> as soon as I walked in that tent, the noise was just, to me deafening you know um, music lots of people and <clears throat> we live in a very loud world so to have a soft and gentle voice is something that is definitely different and I can say that when I come across a person or have a conversation with a person that has a soft voice um, and has a gentle manner I listen because generally I know in my own my own case um, I don't always just speak to just for the sake of speaking. A lot of times people with a soft and gentle manner, they have something to say. So when I, when they're going to speak, I listen because usually their words are thought out. <clears throat> usually they have something to say, so it's worth listening to. And then we'll move on to kind hearted. And this is from Cambridge. And I looked up a lot of definitions for kind hearted, and most of them included the word kind, which I think is cheating. I think you can't include part of the word in the definition. But from the Cambridge dictionary, it says a kind hearted person is one who likes other people a lot and always wants to help them. And that is definitely true of me. Even though I'm classified as an introvert and being with a lot of people or being with people tends to exhaust me, I really do love people. I, it says likes other people a lot. I really do love people. I enjoy being with them. I enjoy hearing about their lives. I um, definitely want to see where I can help them. And, um, hmm. I can't think of, I just lost my, I just lost my train of thought. I will um, maybe come back to that. Okay. And then the other part about being a soft spoken person is that if I am in a meeting now, I don't have very many work meetings anymore because I work for myself now. Um, I rent from another stylist who owns the salon that I work in. So we, I don't have work meetings, but I used to. And I used to also be, I was looking behind me because Rick the goat is tearing apart something. So I was making sure he wasn't going to hurt himself. 
um, I used to be in um, a church where I had some leadership uh, duties and I would have to sit in meetings for that. And I can say that usually in a meeting, I would be the last person to speak unless I was called on because there's a lot of people that definitely need to be heard. Um, they like to talk. There isn't anything wrong with that. Just some people are more assertive or more aggressive than other people. And um, I generally would wait until the end to say what I needed to say. Or sometimes if I felt like I was overpowered, I wouldn't say anything at all. Um, and that is probably to my detriment there. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> some of the problems with this having this um, soft-spoken and kind um, nature, you know, it can be seen as a weakness by aggressive people. You know, there can be people that see this as you are a weak person, um, that you are a person that could be taken advantage of, and that you could be pushed around. And, you know, for me, I know just because I might not speak up or I'm not as <clears throat> I'm not as loud as other people or I don't always have something to say well I always have something to say but just because I don't always share that I have something to say does not mean that I'm a pushover um, generally INFJs we have very strong values and opinions and we tend to keep them to ourselves for the most part unless we have a platform or somewhere that we feel like we can share them that it wouldn't upset someone else. Um, so we're not pushovers and I sometimes I have issues with this at work because you know I am a barber I do have a lot of people that come through the salon that come in you know that sit in my chair and I cut their hair and it's generally with um, when I have this kind of issue where I feel like someone thinks that I am a weak person is when I have, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word, when I have a man in my chair that is very arrogant or that is very, you know, aggressive, strong personality. Um, I really, <laughs> when that happens and they kind of start making comments, I can't think of one exactly, they start making comments about me being, you know, a weak woman or, you know, they're not usually rude, but it, it's it's more of a feeling that I get from them than the words that they're saying. I just like to remind them that I um, butcher my own chickens and that I um, use a chainsaw and I'm able to split wood and I am not a weak woman <laughs> and I... Um, have values and opinions that are my own and that I will stick with um, until someone can show me that they are not right, which doesn't happen very often. Um, and we do have to be careful of people that wish to exploit this because there are people out there that will see a person like myself and like you that would say, Oh my goodness I can scoop this person up and use the heck out of them and so we have to have good boundaries you know our kindness and our generosity and our gentle nature can be taken advantage of and we need to have boundaries we need to stick to our values of what is okay for us and what we feel right in our hearts and our souls that is good for us and um, Oh, I wish I could remember what I was going to say earlier. I feel like I have my little outline here and I feel like I'm so put together and then I turn my camera on and I, my mind just starts running and running. Um, but in the end here, and um, I hope this video is helpful. I feel really confused myself about what I'm talking about. Um, th maybe these INFJ strength videos will get better, but right now I feel a little bit like I'm all over the place. Um, the last thing I want to say is, you know, we are commanded to love one another. And for me, love one another means be kind. You know, I, for us, it's just in our nature to be kind, to be helpful, to be, you know, sweet and gentle. That doesn't mean that we have to be a doormat. You know, that doesn't mean that we have to be used and um, abused and thrown out in the trash. But, you know, love one another, be kind to someone. Say that sweet, gentle thing that you are being led in your heart to say to someone. And um, 
You don't have to raise your voice to be heard. You do not have to be the loudest voice in the room for people to hear you. If you, you know, wait until the end or wait your turn like I do or wait until someone, you know, commands it out of you, you do not have to be loud and aggressive and you don't have to be theatrical for people to hear you. Uh, have a good week, guys. I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope that some of it resonated with you. And thank you so much.